Martin Stolz, and with great responsibility comes great <laughs> obligations or something like that. Not that we've defined the solution, but that we've committed to doing something. We are discovering a common set of ideas on leading organization, teams, and people. Yeah, not just to share with us okay. as you as a, yeah. as a first idea. Yeah, good. Yeah, this has to do what now or what next? Exactly. <laughs> what matters now? There's kind of an oscillation. So if we look at before the uh, uh, the invention of mass production, we had the crafts. We had a very humanistic, fo uh, mm -hmm. uh, people-focused organization. Uh, in the days of Henry Ford and scientific management, we went into a very task or process. And, and there have been some oscillations back and forth. And it looks like what's happening now is, is we're going back to a more um, people-focused. We've reached a point now where the past is no longer a proxy for the future. So you need entirely different processes in order to manage the future that are not necessarily linear or measurement based. This is why the collective intelligence of your staff is so important. If you can tap into that, your best window into tomorrow is your people, not your numbers. All groups who, who think that there's an optimization to be, to, to be achieved by standardizing and instead of letting teams decide. We're approaching 920. Today, this was the, uh, is, is this coming of, you know, the business people who are thinking about leadership and the technology people are thinking about leadership. They're kind of coming together. We see organizations as networks and not as hierarchies. This seems to be key for everything that we're doing. Uh, not that hierarchies are bad, they have some of their uses, yeah. so we're not being negative against hierarchies, but we're being positive in favor of networks. We had learning that was perhaps connected to continuous improvements, uh, getting things done through people was mentioned, and then some key words were trust that seem to be recurring again and again, and feedback loops. Our little group believes that, that organizations are value-creating learning networks of diverse individuals. That seems to be the fundamental law that we are facing here. Having a, a, a network that learns and creates value for, for everyone uh, of individuals who are diverse. Sponsor interactive activities where people can learn from their peers uh, and, and aim it primarily at the chief levels because they really control the structure of what organizations look like. And, it, and if at all possible, make sure you include people in there who get it because they're more likely to take that message from themselves than they are from us. Trying to say too much about substance would almost be disrespectful because we're coming together for the first time. We spent 24 hours together with a very complicated problem. Um, it, it just wouldn't be serious to, to, to put out some results. Looking at leadership and organizations today, we are in quite a mess. We rely on mechanistic thinking, companies focusing more on stock price than delighting customers and creating value, amplified by the emergence of the internet age with knowledge workers who are smarter than their bosses. There has to be a better way. A problem this size will require many minds and hearts. If you would like to join in moving this conversation forward, please join our LinkedIn group.